Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, Timestamps will be down below, but I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to try a different upload schedule. I put it out there for you guys. Um, if you guys wanted me to kind of spread it out, I typically upload like every single day, Mondays through Fridays, but we're going to try something different. Um, yeah, so today's video, I'm excited. I put it in order for the new Soft Sculpt collection from Mario. I picked up quite a few items, so I'm excited to try that out with you guys. Um, I will say some of my order came broken, but I emailed them and they were extremely responsive. They responded very quickly, I would say within like 10 minutes of my um, email and they said they would send me my replacements so I will try to show you what I have I'm not going to tilt it all the way because it'll break but that's where we are so just so you know oh actually so okay let's talk about the soft sculpt collection he released some soft sculpt shaping sticks in a couple of colors I picked up shade medium dark they come in this kind of packaging it's very sleek very simple um, it's plastic and this is what it looks like so i got the shade medium dark i'm sorry and oh because i did this before in case you do get it <laughs> if you're twisting here and you're like why is nothing coming out this part comes out so don't twist that part don't don't do what i did because then you're going to think that there's no product you have to twist it like from the black part here and twist so these retail for 28 dollars. you get 10.5 grams that's what you get. That's it. Um, and I'm not complaining because usually there's like a dip inside. So you're probably not that much. And depending on how pigmented, I would say the price point is pretty good. It's not crazy expensive, but it's not like drugstore. It's like somewhere in the middle. I like to say it's kind of like Glossier's price point or even Jones Road Beauty's price point. So definitely affordable. I do apologize if you hear the dog barking or thunder. It, we're having a thunderstorm right now. He released the Soft Pop Blush Sticks. I got two shades. You know I had to get two shades of the cream. The, I love cream blush. The first shade I got is called Earthy Pink. I will have swatches for you guys up close, but I just want to show you these. This is what it looks like. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, Plumberry, actually came broken. So I'm not going to um, like roll it all the way up. This is a Plumberry. You guys know I love berries, so that's what it looks like. It like cracked halfway and I'm like, ah, you know, and then I went to go like completely roll it out and it fell. So I don't know if maybe there was an issue when it was packaged or if it was the post office, but something happened where some of my products came broken and the others didn't. He also launched the Soft Glow Highlighter. This one is shattered, so I'm going to open it and I'm going to lightly tilt it in a couple of shades. I picked up the shade Pearl. I'm hoping it works for me. Okay, let me show you. I don't know. I may try to repress it. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. Um, I will tell you that the powder is extremely, like, delicate and, like, softly. Like, it's just very, very soft and just creamy. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it is a soft focus kind of highlight. It's not a blinding highlight. It's not a like dewy dewy highlight or anything like that. It's like a soft focus, like almost like a finishing powder highlight. That's kind of the, what I'm getting from it. And then I got the soft sculpt bronzer in medium dark as well. These come in, I think like five shades or something. And he wanted the bronzers not to be too warm, but like more neutral. So you can use it as a sculpting, but a bronzing, bronzer. So that's what I got. The only thing I did not pick up was the powder blush only because I don't see myself really using it. And like I said, the price point is good for the most part. Everything was about $28. I don't think anything was $30 and I signed up for emails and I got 15% off. So everything came out to like 120, which I thought was pretty good. Um, so yeah, so I, I didn't get the blush. So I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that, but I didn't get the blush. All right, let's cut into swatches and then we're going to come back and we're going to play. All right, so here I have everything I purchased from the Soft Sculpt collection. I'm gonna start off with the powders first. So here is the bronzer. I have the shade Medium Dark. 
this is what it looks like. It's very, um, like it's a neutral kind of undertone. It's not orangey, it's not red. It's like a, a perfect sort of gold neutral undertone. And you're gonna see it better when I apply it because it's a little bit close to my skin tone here because I've been in the sun. But it's super silky, super finely milled. Like, wow. I do apologize. I have, there's a severe thunderstorm going on. So, okay, this is the highlighter in pearl. I will try my best to swatch it for you. You're gonna see what a mess it is because it arrived broken, unfortunately. But a replacement is on the way. This is what it looks like swatched up close. Um, and then I'm gonna just. Well, you see how it's got a soft focus? Let me add a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna use the brush that I used in the video. There, now you see it better. And it works really nice with my skin tone. All right, next up is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I got medium dark. I wanna swatch it right over here. Again, has a nice undertone, sort of golden, but it's it's not orange and it's not like red or anything. It's like it's the perfect undertone, if you ask me. And it blends down. It feels like very silky. So that's that. And then I have two blushes. Um, this is the Soft Pop Blush Stick in Earthy Pink. Really quick, you see how... Hold on. Because that's the highlighter on my hand. And like, you see how the light catches it nice? No, you, you kind of can see it. You kind of can't. Alright, <laughs> this is Earthy Pink. This is a beautiful color. I would say this one is probably a color that would work across the board with many different skin tones. That's like a light application. It's definitely buildable as well. Just beautiful. And then, my other hand, I will do Plumberry. This one is the one that came broken. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm, like, I'm not gonna take it out all the way. I'm gonna swatch it on this hand. just like that and sort of blend it out that is a light um, swatch and then I'm gonna just build it up a bit that's really pretty now it's meant for deeper rich skin tones but I personally think um, this is a pretty color. It could work nicely on a fair skinned person if you go with a light hand to give you that flushed, almost like winter rosy cheek. But I like it. So, all right. Okay, swatches good. Um, let's just get into it because I'm excited to put this on my face. I haven't even put it on my face yet. I need a mirror. Uh, One second. Okay, couldn't find a mirror, but these, there's mirrors in here. So it's like a little tab you pull and boom, mirror. All right, so to start off, I'm going to use the contour stick. So I'm gonna take this. So I was watching the demos and he was saying that you, you know, you only need a little bit. It does come with a little brush at the end. 
that does come off if you want to wash it or I don't know if you just feel more comfortable using it this way. I'm going to use it the way I saw him demo it. So I'm going to take it. Now he said that you want to put it not under your cheekbone but like on your cheekbone because you want it to give you that sculpted bronzy look. So we're just going to go for it. Oh, that's pigmented. That is pigmented. Okay. It kind of reminds me of, it kind of a little bit reminds me of the um, milk bronzing stick. So then he turned the product around and so there's like five little dots here. Apparently it helps to kind of blend the product. And he was doing it with such a like gentle, um, just like gentle, he just like, he barely touches it and it's like, ah. And if you're curious where I saw it, if you go to his Instagram stories, he did a whole like demo on it. So that's where I'm getting my information from. That blended out very nicely. Okay. That's beautiful. I like the color I picked too. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to kind of run it around my forehead and I'm going to press. Yeah, you basically, if you're just kind of pushing, it presses and it, it does the blending for you. Like, you don't have to really drag it or anything. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. It's really nice. Now, I always take my bronzers, contours, whatever, like, almost up to my hairline because I don't want to see, like, where it starts or where it finishes. Very beautiful. It's blending in nicely. And it dries down to like a soft kind of velvety matte finish. It's not dewy. I love the undertone of it. It's not turning orange. It's not red. It's like, it's perfect for, for me. Let me do my other side real quick. Yeah, really quick. I would not recommend swiping it across because you're going to put too much. Like, I feel like... You barely have to tap it to get it on your face. And literally stippling motions or pat-pat motions blends it all in nicely. That's really pretty. So I know he launched his makeup a, you know, a while ago. And I, I skipped on the eyeshadows and stuff because I prefer more face product. If you guys follow me, you know that. Um... And I was like, I've just been waiting for him to release something for the face because I think he does an amazing job um, when he's doing makeup, like just making the face look bronzy, but it's always natural and just, just beautiful. He has an amazing um, touch when he's doing makeup. I'm telling you, just, just watch the, the demos and like, he's like, it's just so delicately touching the face and it, it looks perfect. So... And one of the things is that he said for this collection was he wants it to be user friendly so that, you know, somebody who's new to makeup can master it. But somebody obviously who's a pro in makeup or, you know, you're more experienced in makeup, you could also master it too. So I can appreciate that. He's thinking about everybody. All right. This is good. I like it. A little bit goes a long way. Um, the only thing that kind of drives me a little bit crazy, I wish... This little thing like came out to cover it because now when I put it in, I just have to be extra gentle. But that's me. That's just a preference that I have. Okay, so now I have two blushes. Actually, no, let's do bronzer. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer over top. I'm going to use, this is my Doe Color number 4 brush. It's a very soft blush, so I just kind of want to see how it applies because I want something like gentle. He did launch brushes with this collection. I skipped on the brushes because I already have enough brushes. So I'm just going to apply this right over top. Just to see the color builds. Definitely see the color building. This does blend very, very nicely. over my nose. I didn't put any um, of the contour stick on my nose, so. Oh yeah, look at that color. It looks like I've been outside in the sun. 
very very nice and it's blending out really 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 easy I'm just go a little bit heavier I feel like you can you can definitely if you keep going you'll build it up nice but there's like little room for mistake no there's no room no I don't know how to say it. it's almost it's like goof proof or full proof because I can take it now and I'm packing it on right okay that that was a bit much but so I put too much there which is fine I'm just gonna brush off the excess on my brush and I'm going to blend it back. And it's blended it out beautifully. That's amazing. And it seriously looks like I've just been outside. That's amazing. Okay, I like the concept of the soft contour. What is this? Soft. Hold on, I'm going to call it by the wrong thing. Soft sculpt shaping. I think the tool in the back and everything is good. Alright, the colors I'm super happy with. I'm picky when it comes to bronzers and stuff. Um, okay, time for blush. So I'm going to do one on one side, one on the other side. Today, I don't think I'm going to do a natural light look. Um, check because it's the sky is like dark and it's raining and thundering. So we're not even going to be able to see it in natural light. So I'm going to take Earthy Pink. I picked this color because I feel like it was somewhere in the middle where it would work with most skin tones. Though, I will say, and I was extremely impressed when I was watching the demos, the colors that I thought would only work for lighter skins or like the recommended ones, he used on some models that were like rich, deep skin tone, and you saw the color. So I was like, oh my god. Okay. So Earthy Pink is one that was like kind of in the middle that would work with like most skin tones. I'm excited to try it. So do earthy pink on this side and we'll do plum berry on the other side. Just realized I didn't have my mic on. I hope you guys heard everything before. Do apologize for that. Alright, so we're gonna take earthy pink. Same thing, he would just kind of do like that. And these are more of like a dewy kind of blush. And then he would just pat, pat, pat with the other end. So the blushes and the like sculpting sticks all have this little brush at the back. That's really pretty. This also looks like I've been outside and got some color. And it leaves a nice sort of sheen on my face. Very, very pretty. Let me add a little bit more. Oh my god. I love the way my cheek looks. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, I knew, I had a feeling it was going to be good because it's Mario. Like I said, he's an amazing makeup artist. And I don't think like... I don't think that he's somebody that's going to put a makeup line out there and just put his name on it and that's it like I definitely can see that he was serious and like he's behind the scenes with this and I think that's amazing all right so that's earthy pink and this is going to be plum berry you guys know I had to get the darkest berry shade right all right so I'm just going to turn oh shoot that's dark <laughs> this one might require just a little bit Flip it over. Oh my god, but it's still it just blends out so nice. This color is is very pigmented though. But what I like about it is that it looks, it almost has like this effect, like if I'm blushing, which I love that in a blush. I'm telling you though, with these, do not swipe because you're going to put way too much on, like literally just like, now I know why he had such a soft touch with when he was applying it. 
These are no joke. And the brush really does an amazing job of just blending it out. That's another reason why I didn't get the blushes, because I'm like, this comes with blush on the other side. Why am I going to get more blushes? That is so pretty. Okay. The last but not least. I'll do the highlighter. The highlighter, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous about because I was looking at it and I was like, this might be too light for me. But we're going to try it. The good thing is, is because it is a soft, um, like a soft focus kind of highlight, I might be able to get away with it. So I'm going to just open it. I'm going to take my Doe Color 03 brush. This it can be used as a highlighter because it's so, like it's so um, flexible. So I'm going to take it. I'm just going to barely touch it because this is like, broken wait and we're just gonna put it there let's see what happens do you guys see that do i need more let me add a little bit more. Oh, I can see that now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me put some on this side. Don't go crazy on the other side. I can blend this out. Oh, this color's really pretty. Okay, this is the color pearl. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that before. That's, that's really pretty. Okay, so like I said, it's not a blinding highlight, but it's a really beautiful, like, it's a soft focus, but there's definitely a sheen there. I know you can see it. That's so pretty. Let's put some on this side so you can see a little bit better. That's nice. I'll go down the center of my nose. Oh, that's nice. I don't know how to describe it. It's like the light catches it and it like, obviously it looks like I have makeup on, but it also looks like my skin looks really healthy. Oh my God. It's really nice. Okay. So now after kind of playing around with things, I definitely have some thoughts. Um, first, first off, I do like it. I think Mario did an amazing job with this collection. Um, where do I begin? The bronzer, no, I'm calling it the wrong thing. Hold on a second. The Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick is beautiful. Um, he definitely put a lot of thought into undertones. He definitely put a lot of th thought into like texture and how to blend and everything. It's the easiest thing to use. Like I literally dot, 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 and then you flip it over and you just tap, 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 and it blends it out like, I don't know, if somebody else did my makeup. Um, so I love this. The blushes are really beautiful, super pigmented though, so take your time with it, don't swipe it, and then, you know, unless you like a heavy blush, definitely go for it, but these are pigmented, so take your time with it, a little bit goes a long way, so I do appreciate that, these are pigmented, they're creamy, I love the glow that they leave behind, amazing. Um, the bronzer, I like a lot, the bronzer, I feel like you can go with a light hand, a heavy hand, and even if you go with a heavy hand, you can fix it, like you can correct it. So that makes me happy because if any of you out there, you know, you don't know how to blend out bronzer, you have trouble with it, like it's very user friendly. Highlighter seriously impressed me because I put it on before. Well, I swatched it when I first got it and I was like, I swatched it heavy though. And I'm like, this, I don't think this is gonna work for my skin tone, but it looks really good. This looks nice. I, I like, like, I love the overall look. I feel like my skin looks like just like healthy it looks like dewy in a weird way even though it's all powder products except for the blush and the stick yeah okay these are amazing they definitely are really nice i would suggest um signing up for the email or signing up like for the website to get emails and everything you get 15 percent off just do it and buy this the only thing i wish i'd gotten and i forgot was the eyeliner because i hear his eyeliners are amazing um 
but yeah these these are great amazing job amazing i'm happy with these i can definitely see myself using all of these so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was um, helpful leave a comment down below and yeah or just say hi okay bye guys